is used for what? I've just completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Phalaenoptera violacea and if you stand underneath at a certain time of year you will be surrounded by a carpet of little beautiful purple flowers if you stand underneath it at another time of year you'll be wet from the little tiny drops of spittle from the spittle bug hence its colloquial name the rain tree How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter and I am standing here at the magnificent Chilojo Cliffs in Gonorrhejo National Park here to show you this wonderful, wonderful tree very, very, very characteristic of this riverine landscape here. The rain tree um, is host to an insect and what this insect does is it sucks out the, the sap from the stem and as it ingests the sap at the same time it excretes pure water um, which comes out when I was a kid I was always told it was insect urine but it's not actually it's just water and it comes out sometimes at some times of year it comes out so densely that it actually feels like you're raining and pools of water form underneath the tree they call it the apple leaf for two reasons one reason the, uh, the new leaves, when they're formed, if you crush them, they've got a distinctive apple smell. And also, because they say when you crush the leaves, the sound of the crushing leaves is just like the sound of an apple crunching in your mouth. The root bark of this tree is used, if you burn it, it's traditionally used as a cure for colds. Although I'm always slightly worried about that because it's also traditionally used as a fish poison and I'm not quite clear on what compounds there are in there that simultaneously cure cold and poison fish. So the bark is also used as a snake bite remedy. Um, the uh, literature doesn't tell us exactly what type of snake bite it will treat um, and this is a traditional use so I can't vouch for any medicinal uh, veracity to that. Um, the, the bark is also, because it's very prone to forming natural hollows, it's host to a lot of uh, birds that, particularly those birds that like to chase insects inside hollows. Um, it's also phreatophyte, which means that it sends roots way, way, way down until they find groundwater. So the presence of a rain tree often indicates underground water. So guys, this as you probably seen um, to your right, my left, uh, my tent, which is set up right underneath this tree. And I am here in the magnificent Chilojo 2 campsite in Gonorrhejo, which to my mind is one of the very finest campsites in this magnificent, incredible park. So I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. I hope you've enjoyed this little vignette on this beautiful rain tree. And uh, if you'd like to see more, you can check out my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. It's been great chatting to you and I'll catch you again later. Take it easy. Bye.